All right, today I'm gonna give you guys a detailed look at this Acid Rain uh, set, a figure set. Uh, it is a Last Line Defense Capybara Red JP2020. It's an exclusive version. Uh, it's quite an expensive set, actually. Um, here's the front of the box. And not a whole lot of content on the back, just two pictures and uh, the sticker sheet. All right, and here's everything outside the packaging, and uh, you can see the figure the bike and uh, accessories to attach onto the bike and then here's the sticker sheet and uh, it's kind of like uh, Akira so you even the bike looks a, a bit like Akira um, so you could just uh, attach these stickers on there however you like and uh, which is kind of neat um, yeah so here are all the stickers on here there's some white and then there's some color ones as well all right so let's get a good look at the figure and the accessories first we have the figure standing right there uh, the hips are kind of mm, there's a lot of gap in between uh, so it's kind of off-putting a little bit and then uh, here's the bike the naked bike is right there and then here are some pieces to attach onto the bike and then uh, it comes with the helmet and then these two pieces are just um, uh, just spacer type of material uh, but you need to attach that once well I you really don't need to but they provide it so you, you might want to attach that onto the bike once you put it together and then here's the, uh, the windscreen it's black and then the front the front section and then a weapon for her all right so let us start off with the bike uh, looks pretty neat and um, uh, the headlight is removable uh, you need to remove that in order to put the other pieces on which they don't even tell you there's no instructions in there whatsoever so yeah but uh, this is a one uh, one one eight uh, one one uh, <laughs> 118 scale so it's about four inch figure figure is about four inch and um, there's the bike again and the wheels does roll and there is a kickstand which you could flip up and down and uh, the, the front wheel does not move nor does the uh, steering Here's the front of the bike. I love the red, but uh, again, this set is pretty expensive. Uh, I got it from uh, Big Bad Toy Store. It was uh, 124, which is quite expensive for a um, for four inch figure, four inch, fig four inch figure set. So here's the figure itself. Again, you can see a huge gap between those legs. Really huge. And uh, here's a closer look at the character. And uh, when you first uh, take this figure out of the box, it's best to um, heat it up with a hair dryer just to soften up some of the joints so you can maneuver them. Otherwise, you end up breaking them because I have uh, had a figure which I broke uh, when I first took it out of the box so yeah which is very annoying and uh, this one does have this issue as well uh, the leg for the life of me will not bend um, the second there this double jointed uh, the first joint would move but then the second one doesn't and uh, I try heating it and all that stuff but uh, it just won't move that second joint um, I uh, yeah, so I tried uh, forcing it a little bit and see what happens, and then I ended up uh, creating a huge, uh, huge tear uh, on the peg joint itself. Uh, well, it's not a huge tear, but there uh, uh, it is tearing, and um, I contacted. Um, uh, what is that? Acid Rain. They told me to contact uh, Toy Alliance. And uh, so I emailed Toy Lions and I haven't heard back yet. That was uh, quite a few days ago, actually. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. Hopefully they will send me a replacement piece 
all I need is just this knee joint and um, the thigh and the the lower half of the leg it's they, they're attached uh, using a peg system so I could easily just remove the um, the knee joint itself and then just replace it if they send me a replacement piece so I'm waiting for that and then um, yeah the rest of the figure is uh, highly articulated head is on the ball joint and then base of the neck there's another ball joint there so uh, if you want her to look up a little bit more uh, well I'll show you later once I uh, put her on the bike and then uh, I'll show you guys and then uh, ball hinge shoulders again gotta be super careful uh, there is a swivel joint around the arm there right there and then single jointed elbows but it does give you quite a good range and then uh, there's a swivel joint around the wrist and then the chest there is a ball joint and then looks like the waist there's another ball joint down here sorry just can see it right there you can see that ball joint in there and then the hips are also on ball joints and uh, thigh does have a cut joint right by the uh, strap there and then double joint knees and uh, hinge ankles so uh, quite a lot of uh, range of motion for a figure like this this size it's, again it's a four inch figure and uh, let's put her on the bike all right so here's what she looks like uh, on the bike the naked bike and uh, you can see uh, pedals are working fine down here you can see legs attached to it I mean it's resting on it quite nicely and then uh, hands on the steering and she's looking up quite nice and um, uh, she seems to be sitting on the bike quite nicely I mean it's not completely touching the the um, the um, what do you call this the saddle but uh, she it's on there and uh, yeah I think it works out quite nicely actually if you look at it from the front from the side and from the back and even up top so yeah uh, she could uh, sit on this bike nicely and uh you know what i'm gonna attach the other pieces and show you guys what it looks like okay so decided to do it on camera uh, first you need to remove the headlight the covering and then also the headlight piece right here which is what it looks like now it looks like a target symbol and uh so what you want to do now is attach the side piece uh, basically that's attached to here right there and then the other side oh before you attach the other side uh, you want to put this piece on and uh, it's kind of tricky to put it on uh, there's a little piece right here that's sticking out a little piece has to go into um, which slot does it need to go into I think it needs to go into this slot right here right the slot right there that little slot so it has to go in there first so let me see this is supposed to go outside it's kind of tricky because they don't leave you a whole lot of room to work with here in order to put this on sorry camera can't see it but I can only do so much so there you go that piece is on and then this piece has to go in the same way Let's see right there just okay so something like that is that piece on no you see we can attach that piece on here let's hope I don't break anything else on this bike here This is very tricky to get it in to the slot. So once you let's see, oops, then these pieces has to go in. Okay, so once you have it, it'll look like that. And then now you're left with the front portion and 
this piece, there are a couple of pegs, and then you just peg this on here. No big deal. So there you go, right there. And then uh, these these holes right here, there's one on the side. Just need to put this in here, which um, the uh, prototype looks different. The prototype has this piece filled uh, with a little slot around it. It's not a not a hexagon, which is what it is right now. And then, uh, I think leaving it blank, it's actually better looking than having this piece in here because this looks like an add-on piece. And if you look at the picture right here this looks nothing like uh, what we end up getting that piece so once you have everything attached to the bike uh, you could put stickers on here however you like to make it look a little more like uh, Akira's bike and then uh, you pop the head off of that and then you pop this head on which is a helmeted head and uh, you can see once you have this on, she cannot look up anymore because her collar piece does get in the way. So you can see she can't look up that much, but uh, there is a workaround on this. Uh, all you have to do is turn the neck piece around, do a 180. If you, uh, once you did that, it will give you a little bit more room to work with because uh, this way, uh, Let's see, once you turn it 180, not completely 180 yet. Okay, now we're at about 180. So once you turn the head 180, you can see it looks up a little bit more, which gives you a little more room to work with, and you can have her look up a little bit more. Let's see, now it passes the collar, and uh, she can look up now. So let's put her back on the bike. Uh, it's a little tricky to put her back on a bike now because the uh, the the handle the handlebar it's kind of pretty close to the side fender here, so you gotta maneuver it. All right, here I have her situated on bike again, and uh, from the front you can see she's kind of looking up, which is nice because before she wasn't, she was mainly looking down. She was just only able to do that. So that doesn't look that um, natural to me, but uh, with uh, once you turn the neck around, she can look up a little bit more. So that's nice. And uh, here's what she looks like while riding the, the, the new bullet bullet looking bike now. So yeah. I mean, the bike is nice. Uh, I, I like the bike a lot. Uh, the figure, not so much. I mean, she's okay. Uh, I don't like how her jacket's like completely open. Uh, it doesn't look that great. Um, the helmet, it's it's all right. It's uh, rubbery plastic. Same with the the most of this figure. It's all rubbery rubbery plastic, uh, except for the bike. The bike is hard plastic. Yeah, and uh, there she is riding the bike. And uh, again, with these joints, you gotta be super, super careful because they are tiny. Because uh, the, this is only a four-inch figure, and uh, with the um, with the joints being so tiny, uh, you gotta you gotta soften up with a, a hair dryer or maybe in hot water or something in order to soften up the plastic in order for it to move the joints. Because otherwise, you end up breaking it kind of like what I did here <clears throat> so uh, well not really kind of what I did it's it's a defective uh, joint here so um, yeah hopefully they'll send me a new joint and uh, I'll be able to replace it if not then uh, it's it's 124 it's very expensive for something like this you're getting a four inch figure with a bike for 100, over a hundred bucks. That's that's pretty expensive. I personally, um, I don't know whether I would recommend this or not. I, I don't think I would uh, because of the price tag, how expensive this thing is. Uh, it is nice though. 
I mean, and they're making other ones. Uh, they're making another bike, but uh, this time with the sidecar. Uh, but the color is different. It's uh, some somewhat of a blue and gray or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's up on pre-order as well. Uh, the bike itself was 55, I think. Uh, BBTS has it, uh, which is kind of nice, though. Uh, I don't mind getting the bike, but uh, the set itself for over 100 bucks seems a bit high to me. So most likely, I would not recommend this set uh, just because of the price point. Even though this is a a really nice looking piece, but I don't think it's worth a hundred bucks. And finally, here she is with the weapon. Uh, it's a very, very big weapon, and uh, she's riding the bike while holding on to the weapon. So one last look. Here's another look. I think once you apply the stickers uh, onto this bike, uh, it will look quite nice. Uh, it will be a very unique item. Uh, because of the, the way you attach these uh, stickers onto this vehicle. It will be definitely different than what other people would have done. So that's nice. A neat little unique ability with this set here. So there you have it. Uh, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.